Okay, um, I had problems. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but today is a different day. Yesterday I couldn't uh, connect with the OpenAI. I was told that I was uh, uh, OpenAI. It was receiving too many requests from my from my location. I don't know if you noticed that the, the in the previous video the, we, it, there was an error. And I, I waited a whole day and still I was receiving the same error. And uh, which was the problem? The problem is that I needed to add a payment method <laughs> in, open, in OpenAI. So if you experience something like that, bad news. I mean, OpenAI is not free. It's not free. If you use it, um, if you use the prompter, like, uh, I mean, the chat, yes, okay. It might be free for a while, but the service, it is not free. Remember this. So I'm sorry, but uh, if you want to use it at some point, you will have to add your your payment method. How to? How did I do it? Well, very simple. I came to the to the uh, billing section, right? And here uh, you sh you you have a button that says enable payment method, and then you click on payment methods. You are your card and your billing details. And then I tested again the same the same node. Okay, I was testing the node of uh, OpenAI, asking a very simple question: When started World War II? Right. If I execute this node with the credentials, this time I do receive an answer. Okay. World War II began on September 1, 1939, when England Germany invaded Poland. Okay. So problem solved. Problem solved. That means that now we can continue with our automated accountant. And uh, now we should ask, um, we should ask uh, ChatGPT to get the, to tell us certain data of the, um, of the, uh, let's see, of this text. Okay. The, from this invoice, I want to get some certain data. Uh, the prompt prompting it's so, sort of a technique. I'm not very expert to be honest, but I know that I've played a little bit, so I know um, enough to get the right answer. Okay, so I want the data to come back to me as a JSON object in a certain structure. So I will tell ChatGPT the following way. So the way I do it, it is to explain it as if I was explaining it to a person in an email very well explained and very detailed. Okay, so it's not really in my a, a hidden science, but I repeat, I'm not a, an, a prompt engineer. So what I'm talking is uh, experience, not uh, theory. So, so for me, it worked. So let's begin. Um, the question is, I inform first, I will give you an invoice data, right? Dot. I will give you the text, sorry, the text of an invoice. Yeah, like this. This is the information to feed to feed the, the model. Please, but the please is not really necessary, but <laughs> let's be <laughs> let's be polite. Please, I want you to return me the following data as a JSON object with the following properties. Okay. Date. In format, year, 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 month, month, day, day. Mm. Concept. I will put comma concept total amount total amount as total okay as concept total amount as total Okay, let's see this. If it, let's see what returns me. Oh, I didn't. I didn't pass the text. Now we'll. Yeah, I didn't pass the text. 
um, here it comes the text two dots double quotes and the property of expression okay we put it as expression and here I drag the text oh no here I cut it I put it in here okay let's see what I get back I'll test this let's see if we go in our in the right direction or not and now I might get yeah I'm not getting the you need to enable here in options in the maximum number of tokens I have only seven, 16 remember that this is the default and the tokens it's approximately words okay so 16 tokens is like 16 words so it's returning me an answer but if you see the answer is really short one two three four five six seven eight it's not even it's less than words i'm not sure how they calculate tokens to be honest i'm not sure uh, but i know that we need to give a, a higher number of course higher number means more money <laughs> but let's test this now the answer should be more longer so options maximum number of tokens let's see the object answer date 30 the date is correct good and it has been returned to me in the right format you see year month and day great concept it's also good fantastic and the amount it's also correct great let's do that well i'll be more precise now because i want date in format great concept as concept that is correct yes and total as total and i will say in number format to make sure because you know uh, chat gpt is non-deterministic what does it mean that given given the same question you might get a different answer yeah and I, I think i've seen it honestly believe me so you need to be as specific as possible when we're talking of such a relevant uh, thing so why do i say number format because sometimes could be that the number instead of a number how do i know this is a number because it doesn't have double quotes so it could be that i get back a string so i want to be more specific so that the non-deterministic scenario is reduced to the minimum um but it looks this looks, looks good let's finish them what else do i need um total amount fiscal code of fiscal code as uh, fiscal code in string okay what else do i need concept total and uh, taxes right taxes taxes as taxes in a number format in string format in number format and um, mm, i think that that's all well subtotal and total I, I i will see if because in this case there is no tax total amount uh, so here I will say sub total amount as sub total in number format we mean the amount without the taxes added I will be like this I mean well we know I mean without taxes added and the uh, subtotal in another format i mean the total with the taxes added okay let's see let's see what we get back i'll test it uh, but, um, believe me that when i saw this at the first time i was really shocked because i was doing this exercise for i was doing this exercise as a in one of my courses that i do in barcelona and um before it, this was done in november yeah before chat gpt was 
like broadcasted and widely announced and um and uh i had to do it with javascript and um like for example getting this string removing the dots finding the total but then of course if you change the invoice text i needed to make it to change make another logic i think it took me like two weeks two weeks of exercises in classes to do that and it wasn't and, and it was not 100 percent precise because you had to, to test it for every different invoice format so it was a big job i was really proud oh my god i'm so good i'm so smart you know doing this is this is so difficult and then i saw chat gpt and i asked and i was I, I thought okay let's give it a try i'm not sure that this can do the same and when i saw the result i was like wow two weeks of my work done in a sec in a fraction of a minute eh? That's what we're talking about here. <sighs> That's what we are talking about. Okay, let's see the result. Text, date, concept, total, subtotal, fiscal code. Yeah, but this is my fiscal code and taxes, it's zero. Yeah, that's great. But fiscal code, not my fiscal code. I want the fiscal code of the of the of the other of the sender. But looks this is look this looks promising. Taxes, fiscal code. Fiscal code in sync format. I mean the mm, fiscal code that is different than this one because this is my fiscal code. So, okay, let's see if understands what I mean. Hmm. It's taking very long. And I will. No, it didn't understand fiscal code. Did you see? Mm -hmm. Let's see fiscal code of the. I will be more specific. But not. But not my fiscal code which is i mean the fiscal code of the sender of the invoice yeah sender and the receiver yeah let's see if it's able to understand this Uh, yeah, now it worked. Now, fiscal code. Let's see if this is the fiscal code of Google. Well, I can. I only need to check the invoice. The invoice was here. Google January. Fiscal. Yeah, I E S O H. I E S O. Yeah. Great, great. Um. Well, that's it. <laughs> we have it. I have a JSON object. I have a JSON object and now date concept total. Oh, look at this total. It says, you see what I told you now total. It was returned as a string. And the taxes were returned also as strings. And subtotal was also returned as returned as as uh, strings. But I'm st I was telling here. Total amount. In, uh, uh, yeah, it's not it's not um, applying this. Let me check. Mm -hmm. How can I? Well, it's not it's not really a big drama drama because um, still I need to sanitize this data. And uh, when when I'm doing the uploading to the Google Sheets, so it's not a big deal. And um, this looks good enough. Uh, of course, of course, I, I still would recommend some sort of human overview, right? But it's a lot better. It's a lot better than uh, than what we had before. Um, subtotal amount as subtotal in number 
I'll be more physical code is a string in string uh, as number I'll use this I don't know if very big but now I'll make it in caps log I don't know if that makes any difference as number taxes is a number here it comes a text string format I'll uh, I mean the uh, I want the the return the value should be a number okay the value should be a number I'll put this at the end the value should be a number let's see let's see if like this we get this should be a string as a number yeah the value should be a number should be a string number and this I'm changing the way as I told you I'm not a prompt engineer but the value should be a number if I get what I want I'll do two or three tests to see if I'm receiving the data as, a, as expected if I if I do three times and I get the data as expected I'll give it as um, done if not I will do some small sanitation but not my physical code I mean a physical code let's see the result number number and number okay now first try is correct second try remember it's non-deterministic what does it mean you can make the same question and you might receive some some a different answer with the difference it was that it was understanding strings before number number and number okay second try successful and I'll do a third one if the third one still works I will consider that this prompt is more efficient than the previous one and I will leave it like this if there if it was not the case it's not a big deal you just upload the data and now yeah again you see number number and number good I I, I will consider this prompt as successful if you still you try it and you don't if you don't get it you should use an, a javascript node and convert the properties of a string as uh, numbers okay so it's not the, the end of the day or you can even upload it to google sheets as a strings and then in the google sheets convert the data i mean it's not a big deal great okay we'll leave the video here